Oh, dear. I just wanted to look in this uh, Black's Law Dictionary again. Yeah. Now, when you go through the actual charitable giving of the developed nations to cure the illnesses of humanity, does somebody know something? Oh, look at that. Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. <laughs> then there's the Supreme Court of the United States. Ooh. <laughs> Supremacy Clause of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, would it be contrary or contradictory? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to uh, issue court orders without any proof of, of notice of court hearings and the opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, enjoy legal superiority over any conflicting provision of a state constitution or law. <laughs> See, preemption. <laughs> Now, um, the Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, oh, and all treaties made under the authority of the United States are the supreme law of the land. Now, I asked you about those treaties because uh, our marriage certificate is from the United Nations. Yes. And then I made mention of that Class B felony of my wife being the mother of my five sons. Yes, and her sole want was to take custody of them without me having any notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> now, let's say that the International Monetary Fund, and well, I think it violates the Supremacy Clause of the Constitution declaring that the all laws made in furtherance of the Constitution and all treaties made under the authority of the United States are the supreme law of the land. You didn't really realize about the treaties, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, how about the supremacy of text principle, mm -hmm. the textualistic doctrine, <laughs> that the words of a governing legal instrument are of paramount concern and that they convey in their context is what the text means. <laughs> now, the governing legal document, yes, mm -hmm. that governed my life as in the supremacy of the text principle of the court order where it says I did not receive actual notice of court hearings. <laughs> Is that what you were wanting to convey when you did not put an X in the box? <laughs> or, well, the Supreme Court of the United States, yes. Mm -hmm. An appellate court existing in most states, usually the court of last resort, yes. In New York, a court of general jurisdiction with trial and appellate divisions. Oh, the Court of Appeals is the court of last resort in New York. Mm -hmm. Then there's the Supreme Court of Judicature. <laughs> How the Supreme Court of Appeals, the highest court in West Virginia. Oh. Supreme Court of Errors, historically the court of last resort in Connecticut. <laughs> the court's now called the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court of Judicature, oh, that's an English law. <laughs> Supreme Court. Supreme Court. How? Well, you would say I'd never get to the Supreme Court like you've said. You, I would never get my rights enforced and I will never get my sons. But um, I'm thinking that when there was no proof of actual court service to me as the respondent, yes, in both the dissolution of marriage and the protection orders, yes. It could get to the Supreme Court. Now, there's a big question about how. Yes, yes. See, I already put the Constitution away, so I don't remember what page that was. Oh, but let's say the court issued court orders that are repugnant to the Constitution, the Supremacy Clause of the Constitution, that happens to violate every treaty that the United States has made with every nation of the world. Oh. Now, you say that I don't have the use of the Supreme Court of the United States, that they have no knowledge. There's no possible way they could be accessories to the class B felony. The supreme law of the land? Yes. Mm -hmm. U.S. Constitution, acts of Congress made in accordance with the U.S. Constitution. 
you're sure that you have the right to issue dissolutions of marriage without having proof of You're saying because I'm having to sleep on a floor and I'm a homeless American citizen that there's no possibility that I have a case that I can bring. There's no way you're going to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's say it's custody, joint custody, divided custody, protective custody. Ooh custody the care and control of a thing or person for inspection preservation or security Ooch. now uh, there's involuntary protective custody mm -hmm. penal custody Ooh. physical custody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. protective custody the confining of a person or for that person's own security well-being so on and so forth and then in family law as yes. An arrangement intended to protect a child from abuse, neglect, or danger, whereby the child is placed in the safety of a foster family <laughs> after being removed from a home or from the custody of a person previously responsible for the child's care. <laughs> Did you think you were going to put my five sons in foster care because their mother kidnapped them? <laughs> is that what you thought? Because we went through the foster care families in the state of Washington. Oh. When did you plan on enforcing my rights as a father? Now, my wife's going to go to prison, and I remember when it was her 48th birthday, or maybe 47th. Now, on her 47th birthday, I was allegedly in Brennan, Washington, and I had some sort of verbal argument with her. <laughs> I thought that was the birthday where I was going to buy her her own personal island right outside of North Korea. <laughs> Now, did you watch those videos that I made that morning? Was it her 48th birthday? I'm 48. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if you did put in protective custody my five sons when you know of a crime, exactly how many additional lawsuits could I file? Why don't you give me all those in the foster care system again? And every employee of Child Protective Services that's complicit in the crime of child abduction and child kidnapping because the father of the five sons did not get notice of court hearings. The fraudulent use of the state court seal and the forgery of the ex officio superior court clerk was used to kidnap my five sons. Now, for every employee of Child Protective Services, for every crisis responder that just did not want to acknowledge the actual evidence, I wanted all of them to know that they're all complicit in a lie for the kidnapping of children. Now, I'll sue every fucking one of them, as I've said. So, get me all the foster care children right now. GPS location, barometric pressure, court orders that have put them in protective custody, yes, and any and all illnesses that they have as children. I emailed all 34 crisis responders. In fact, an officer was kind enough to ask me, well, somebody at uh, Peninsula Behavioral Health is concerned about your mental well-being, Paul. Is there any possibility that Peninsula Behavior Health doesn't understand the requirements of the law. <laughs>